Okay, so let us now apply the contrapositive statement of a pumping lemma to prove that certain languages are not regular. Okay, these kind of questions often come in the exam. So I am taking one of these questions that is prove that the language defined by L is the language is defined as the set of strings W says that W is of the form 0 to the power n and 1 to the power n okay where n is greater than 0 is not regular so how will we solve this kind of problems I have already told you so there are certain steps to prove that a given language is not regular using pumping lemma so the first step is so assume a finite automata that accepts this language so we'll prove by contradiction so we'll assume that the language is regular and is accepted all the strings of this language are accepted by a finite automata okay suppose the finite automata name is m and it has k states okay now finite automata m and it has k states and it accepts the language then what is the next step next step is to we have to take a sufficiently long string w from the given language and the notion of sufficiently long is that the number of symbols in w should be greater than or equal to k so so let us take safely as let w as 0 to the power k and 1 to the power k so what will be my total number of symbols in w so it is 2k which is obviously greater than or equal to the number of states k so my this constraint is satisfied so this w is sufficiently long for me okay to do the analysis then what is the third step i have to decompose this string w into three parts okay as per pumping lemma into x y and z with the condition that number of symbols in x and number of symbols in y total should be great should be less than or equal to the total number of states of the automata k and the y should contain at least one symbol so so let me show you so this is suppose 0 0 0 0 k times followed by 1 1 1 1 k times okay this is my string w now I have to break the string into two halves okay so let this one be x so so with the if if my condition is number of symbols in s and number of symbols in y should be less than or equal to k what does this mean both the uh, substring x and y will be uh, will contain only zeros because the total number of zeros I have is k so even if I decompose into x and y okay so both x as well as y will contain only zeros and rest of the things will contain ones okay in the worst case okay so so let me take a safe position so let so suppose this length is m and this length is k minus m okay so my w is x y and z such that x is equal to a to the power m y is equal to what uh, let me take this this as m and this as k minus m okay so my y is a to the power m x is a to the power k minus m and z is oh sorry this is 0 so this is 0 to the power k minus m y is 0 to the power m 
and z is 1 to the power k okay so i divided the string 0 to the power k into 1 to the power k into three parts x y z and i have taken due to the constraint that the number of symbols in x and the number of symbols in y should be less than equal to k restricts the uh, content of x and y and hence i can say that x is equal to 0 to the power k minus m and y as 0 to the power m where m is greater than or equal to 1 this is because uh, as per pumping lemma my substring y should be greater than or equal to 1 hence y is equal to 0 to the power m so m should be greater than or equal to 1 understood okay now with this constraint so this so these are the constraint that has been satisfied now i have to take a suitable value of i and construct a new string w1 so so in every problem you can safely first start with i is equal to 2 okay so let us take i is equal to 2 so the new string w1 will be what it will be x y to the power i z now let us substitute that so x is what x is 0 to the power a minus m into what is y 0 to the power m so it will be i is equal to 2 so it will be 2m into 1 to the power what 1 to the power k uh, sorry it is k minus m uh, 0 to the power 2m into 1 to the power k ok and this is what this is 0 to the power k plus m into 1 to the power k so clearly so so the new string w1 and my what are my constraints on k and m so my constraint is that m should be greater than or equal to 1 as well as m should be less than m should be less than or equal to k so i can always say that w1 does not belongs to l because the number of k plus m cannot be equal to because k plus m is not equal to k it cannot be equal to k because m is always greater than or equal to 1 okay and hence i can say that w1 does not belongs to the language l which is which we have assumed that so so this means the language this implies that the language does not satisfy the pumping property and hence <coughs> language is not regular okay So our assumption is wrong and hence it is proved by contradiction. So let me reiterate. So how we have started this problem? We have assumed that we have, uh, let us assume that the language is regular and hence it is accepted by a finite state automata M which has K states and it accepts the language L. The next step what we do? We took a string W which is sufficiently long so for the safe reason we took w as 0 to the power k 1 to the power k and hence since the number of symbols in this w is 2k which is greater than or equal to k we are uh, uh, we have taken the correct string which is it is sufficiently long okay now we have decomposed the string w into three parts x y and z and we have to satisfy the constraint of pumping lemma that is number of symbols in x and number of symbols in y should be less than or equal to k which means both x and y should be should contain only zeros understood in the worst case it should uh, it can come up to this uh, the boundary zero k times zero okay so and the y should contain at least one symbol so i can uh, divide the uh, string of zeros into two parts so y will be my zero to the power m and x will be 0 to the power k minus m understood and my z will be the remaining string that is 1 to the power k 
So I have now divide, decomposed the string W into three parts satisfying the pumping lemma. The next step I need to take is I have to take a suitable value of Y. So, uh, so it's a it's a it's a practice that so we should start with the smallest value of i. So i so we can safely start with the value of i is equal to two, and in which case the new string w1 becomes zero to the power k plus m and one to the power k. Okay, substituting the values of x, y, and z, and here the number of uh, so so the number of zeros now I have is k plus m, and the number of one is k. And since m is always greater than or equal to 1, k plus m cannot be equal to k. And hence, w1 cannot belongs to L. Okay. And this implies that the language does not satisfy my pumping property. And hence, it is not regular. Okay.